Whether we're trying to balance school, jobs, or personal responsibilities, there's times when we all wish we were more than one person. Unfortunately, that's not an option for most of us. So we must rely on good time management. I really enjoyed it. It was a uh, short and sweet. Mariah Reyna is referring to the time management workshop that was held at the Preston Hall. Me personally, like I need to uh, start doing, going, um, really listening and really taking time for the small things to really maximize my time. Because like with work and school and studying and trying to have a social life too, um, and seeing my family, it's. It hasn't, it ha it's been hard. Giving the time management lecture was Alan Pickering. If you don't put your priorities straight and like know what you want to do, then obviously, you know, it, it gets out of hand. Who is a pre-academic leader. Uh, I, I consider my time management very well. During the lecture, Alan used an analogy as well as an activity <laughs> this is like a game. <laughs> to demonstrate time management. So I showed him a, uh, a little jar and inside that jar there was different different varying levels of uh, like materials so the big first one was like a big rock and so the big rock represented things that take a lot of time to do and then i put in after that put in little rocks and the little rocks kind of represented like smaller things to do but things you still have to do uh, and then i put in sand and sand kind of represents things that fill in the spaces between but uh, it's maybe something that's not as important so apparently needing to be more than one person isn't actually necessary. Kevin Mendez, UTA News.